I don't know what's happening to me. When I lose control, things happen, bad things. Whose blood is that? This movie is very different from the previous X-Men movies. It is darker, it is grittier, it is more psychologically complex. You messed with the mind of an eight-year-old girl. You push Gee. down all that pain and anger, where do you think it's gonna go? Our main goal was to just try and make it not feel like a superhero movie. We really wanted to put the story and Jean's journey at the forefront of the movie. You told me my father was dead and you used me for my powers. It's a drama and it's about real people who just happen to have superpowers. Jean Grey is arguably the most powerful mutant that's ever lived. You know, she beat Apocalypse, man. And Dark Phoenix taking control of her. That's a terrifying prospect. It felt pretty clear to us we had to be willing to go further than we had before. Simon wanted to really hit home with the drama and bring us back to very human, real emotions. I need you to help me find Jean. If I find her, I'll kill her. I know. Got a sort of reality to it, I think, that the others didn't have. <laughs>
I was like, well, you need to be a director for the rest of your life then, dude, because that's where his passion is. That's where he really comes alive. Like you have one hand up on the chopper, right? Yeah. And one of these guys pulls their guns, and it's like, yeah. and the gun goes flying to the water. OK, cool. He's a director who's always liked acting, and he's fascinated by it, and he understands it on a level that not every director does, and he sees it as a vital tool for helping to tell your story. Where is she? Where is she? And then, boom, she's there, and you're just like that. <laughs> yeah. And then, and, then, and then you can sell it a little bit with this. But like, you have your left hand on this, and then you're selling it with just like what my body's doing right now, like that, because you can't see your feet. Okay. Yeah. And with Simon, he's like, this is a collaboration. We're all artists, we all have a viewpoint, and maybe you have something to give to this character that I hadn't really thought of, which is nice. Simon loves the characters and he loves the movies so much, and it's great to work with a writer, somebody who has the whole movie in his head and knows how he wants it to go and is also willing to experiment with different versions of what he has in his head. They begin their fight over, really cool. over, over, over each other. She's trying to yeah. his throat. And she actually did slit a little bit and then I'm a little blue. blue. Little blue. Just a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Let's choreograph yeah. it and see what it looks like. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hello, sir. First of all, who are you and what are we doing here? I have no bloody idea. <laughs> I'm Chris Claremont. I'm, God help me, the writer of the source material for this film and for much of the X-Men canon. We have a bunch of photographers facing this direction. Mm -hmm. And you'll be in the sort of, it's almost like when the queen, you know, does her thing. You'll be one of those people and you'll be the last person because he has a line where he says, um, I gotta go and he'll be right straight to you. Chris is a remarkable guy, and there's something unique about getting to have somebody who has had a hand in creating such an amazing body of work. There, as you're attempting to interpret and capture it narratively. Dave Cockrum and Len Wein created the series, and then Dave Cockrum and I took over with the second issue, and we just decided to have a whole lot of fun. And one of the elements that we created along the way was the transformation of Jean Grey from Marvel Girl into Phoenix. Dark Phoenix story for me as a kid when I first read it was probably my most seminal experience of reading a comic book just because of the shock of, oh my God, Jean Grey that I thought was an ally and someone I loved this entire time could go dark. It was just really shocking to me. Jean God! Phoenix is one small step below God. To suddenly have Jean Grey embrace that level of power, of ability, was more than she could handle. I don't know what's happening to me. It is more complex and sophisticated and challenging material than pretty much anything else in, in, in comics. So this is a movie that hopefully will be more complicated, more complex. What gave the story its power was that when push came to shove, knowing, as she said to Scott Summers in their last scene together, I could hold on, but it would mean I would have to be totally aware of myself, uh, totally resistant to the temptation for every millisecond of every day for the rest of my immortal life. And she decided if I slipped, even for a fraction, the consequences could be breathtaking. She made a choice, and the choice broke Scott's heart, it broke the reader's heart, but it turned out to be the right choice for the story, for the character, and for the series. Gene! I have faith in Simon. I trust Simon. I trust the team he has built up, especially the acting team he has built up, if there's any chance of making this brilliant, these are the people who can pull it off. Simon being a first time director and me being the first time lead in a big movie, it was a journey together and really an education together. Now you come here to kill me? That's right. And you couldn't even do that. Let me show you how. Cut. Cut. Great fucking movie. Cut.